everybody, my name's Big Dumb Stupid Stupid Dumb Stupid, and let's learn how to play Mega Man 3 intro like a cool dude. Let's start out on the 4th fret of the D string, and slide it up to the 11th fret. Oh yeah! Then down to the 9th fret of the A string, up to the 12th with your pinky, jump back to the D string, 9, 11. Let's try that all together. You can add a hammer on it there if you like, or just go from 9 to 11. You've got it! Now you're going to hit the 9th fret of the A string, jump up to the 9th fret of the G string, play the G string and the B string, but leave the B string open. Slide your middle finger on the G string down 1 fret to 8, and keep the B string open like so. Yeah! Now on the 9th fret of the D string, you're going to slide your 3rd finger from 9 up to 11. Back down to the 9th fret with your 1st finger, like... Now, because you've been so good, you're, just, you're going to treat yourself to a little bit of bending and releasing just because you've been so good, okay? So, play the 11th, bend it up to the 12th fret, Back down to the 11th fret. Remember, you're treating yourself because you went good. Back up to the 12th fret and down to the 11th fret. So it sounds like this. Oh, I'm so glad you treated yourself because you were good. Now for the next part, get your first finger on the D string on the 9th fret. You're going to go 9, 11. Now use your pinky to go down to the 12th fret of the A string. 12, 9 on the A string, and I usually use my third finger on the E string on the 12th fret, so... Back up to 9 on the A string. Now this is where we get a little sexy. You're gonna play the 9th fret, palm muted, and you're gonna hammer on to the 12th fret. Like that. Oh yeah. You have your, your, your hand on part of the string so it's palm muted. And you're going to go ho-bam, ho-bam, just like that. But make it nice and short and staccato. Back down to the ninth fret. Do another one of them hammer-ons. Up to the nine. So it's going to sound all together like this. Now this next part may seem as impossible as a married bachelor, but with practice, you'll get it. It involves something called a pinch harmonic or a squealy that sounds like this. Yeah. So to do that, it's going to involve playing the string that you're trying to play, and then right after, you just barely touch it with your thumb. Ha. And I'm not even super good at it, but I'll put a link to a video that teaches you more about it in the description. Hooray! When you put this all together, you're going to bend the 9, 9th fret, up to a 10. It's going to, you want the sound from here to here. 9 to 10, but you're going to bend it till it gets there, alright? To 10, release it back down to 9. Ah, uh, yeah. Then add a little bit of a pinch harmonic in there. Nope, that's not it. That's sort of it. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> there it is. You're going to do that. And then go 12, 9, 12. Yeah? On the A string, 12, 9, 12. No? Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Let's go back a little ways, see what we got. Put some palm muting down here. Yeah? how you be cool. The ladies like that. That's why I'm alone. So this next part's going to involve some more bending. You're going to go to the 12th fret of the B string with your middle finger, bend it up to the 13th fret. All right? From here to here. And then just bend it. Oh yeah. Then you want your first finger to stay on the, uh, whatever this is, 11th fret of the E string while you're bending it. Yeah. And what? So you're going to Pick it once while you go up, once while you're at the top, and then once as you go back down. 
you've got it. Then top it off with 14, 11, 14 on the G string, and then an 11 and 12 back on the B and E string. So it sounds like this. <laughs> I did it! It only took me 4,000 tries. So if you get this next part right, it's gonna blow Gutsman's got straight out of his stupid face. So get your first finger on the fourth fret of the A string. You're gonna slide that up to the ninth fret like that. Okay, you got that. Good job. Okay, now with some palm muting, not, put your little palm on the back of the strings. All right, you're gonna go four. No, not four. Okay, you're gonna go nine. You just slid up to nine. There you go. 9, 11, 12 with your first, third, and fourth finger on the A string. Then 9, 11 on the D string. Nope. Nope. Yeah. You can open it up when you hit 9 and 11 on G. You can take the palm muting off. Yeah. So when you get up to the 11th fret of the G string, instead of using the tip of your finger right there, you're gonna use the flat part and also cover the 11th fret on the D string. So you can go like this. 11th fret there, tip of your 11th finger on the D string. That way you can move from those two notes faster. Just make sure when you go from here to here, 11th fret to the 11th fret, you don't play both of them. You play that first 11 on the G string and then use the tip of your third finger on the D string. Ah, yeah. Good news, everybody. You did it right. So for this next part, here's what we just did, right? Then you're gonna go 9th fret on the G string to 11th fret. Now, you're gonna go up to the 14th fret and bend it up to the 16th fret on the G string. Yeah! Bring it back down after that. All right, but you're also gonna be playing with your first finger, the 12th fret of the B string at the same time, so you sound all super dope. That's how a cool dude plays it. Very good, all right. Yeah, 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 I like giving your thumbs up when you win. This next part is so beautiful, it'll make Snake Man cry. What you're gonna do is after you just finish that last bend and release, you're gonna take your third finger, go down to the 11th fret of the G string, do an 11, nine, back to the 11, then a 10, so. You're gonna play an 11 on the D string now. Now this part, you're gonna play an 11 and a 10. 11 on the D and 10 on the G with your second and third fingers, and then you're gonna hammer on with your pinky to the 11th fret of the G string. So this next part, you're gonna take your first finger, you're gonna put it right, bam, there on the ninth fret, and you're really only gonna pull down on that first, uh, that E string, on the ninth fret. Okay, so you do that, bam, then you're gonna take your second finger, put it on the 10th fret of the B string, <laughs> then uh, 11th fret of the G string with your pinky, uh, 11th fret of the D string with your third finger. So it's like playing a minor chord. Good. Now, uh, you're gonna go 9, 11, 12 on the A string. I like to keep it palm muted there. Let's see if I can do it here. Ah, just like that. So you just did your old 9, 11, 12. Now the rhythm's gonna change up here a little bit. You're gonna go 9, 11 on the D string, 9, 11 on 
the G string and 10, 12 on the B string, but it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> Now you're going to keep your pinky there on the 12th fret and you're going to bend it up to the 14th. But the cool part is you're going to have uh, your first finger here on the 9th fret of the E string so it's all like... So you got... And I'm not even using the tip of my finger on that fret, just kind of barring it. Making sure I'm muting the strings I'm not using. Yeah! <laughs> so you're actually going to do a bend and a release on that bend. So you're going to go... And then back down. Then to the tenth on the B string. Eleven. On the G string. Now this is one of my favorite parts of the song. We just did... Now the ninth fret on the G, you're gonna bend it up to 10, all right? Nine to 10. But you're gonna mute it right when you get to 10 by going like this, except not quite as exaggerated. You're not trying to karate chop your guitar. Be gentle. So. Yeah, that sounds sick, sick, Okay, so. And then, Back down to nine. Gets me every time. Heck yeah! <laughs> so this next scale sounds like it's straight out of Dracula's castle. Listen to this. No, and that's silly. <laughs> yeah, baby. So you're starting on the 4th fret of the D string with your 2nd finger, you're going to slide that up to the 11th fret. Now with your 1st finger, you're going to hit the 10th fret of the G string. Now, keep your finger here, because later on, you're going to play the 10th fret of the E string, and you want to go straight from here up to there. Alright, so 10 to 13 on the G string, 12 on the B string with your 3rd finger, like I said, you kept your finger there, so bam. Yeah, 10th fret of the E string, up to 13th fret of the E string through pinky. Now, I end it here instead of going on to the next part, and so this is a little bit different. You're just gonna play an octave here uh, on the uh, G and the E string. You're gonna go. 11th and 14th fret, 11 on the B, 14 on the E, and you're gonna hit that twice and slide it on down. Because cool guys slide, and cool girls, okay? No, <laughs> this. And now you can play Mega Man 3 intro like a cool dude. Good job!